in my spirit about the God of all comfort. And First Lady was talking about comforting one another. And even on this weekend, we had a, amen, one of our old members that were with us, amen, we had to lay them to rest on yesterday, and we had to comfort for the family, be there for them. And even on this weekend, we'll lay another cousin to rest. And we know that when everything is going wrong, we need the God of comfort. You know, sometimes you go to different places and you want comfort food. I'm reminded of Chick-fil-A, how you can go and get great customer service and food tastes good. But sometimes you gotta wait in long lines at Chick-fil-A because there's so many people there. It could be money short. It could be bills due. It could be so many things. So many things out of balance. So many things go wrong. Car problems and people problems. And money funny. But how many know there is one person that will never let you down? What's his name? Somebody say his name is Jesus. He's a mighty God. He's a wonderful counselor. Sometimes you can go to places and pay your money to a counselor. Amen. And you, you feel like when you left that you could have went somewhere else or worked it out on your own. But how many know you don't need to pay Jesus no money to get wonderful counsel? <laughs> Lord, we thank you for being the Lord of our life today. Father, it is in you that we trust. Not in the symbol or the name or the letters on the back of the dollar. But in God we trust, we give you our lives, we give you our heart, but we give you our, we give you our word today. Somebody say, Lord, I give you my word. Hallelujah. Come on, let's decree and declare it. Lord, I give you my word today. How many of Jesus gave us his word? God says in his word that he'll never leave us nor forsake us. He'll be with us to the end of this age. And how many know that's comforting to know? In the name of Jesus, amen. So Lord, as we're praying in this moment, we thank you for this very space that we have to come represent you. Oh, what an honor, what a privilege to decree and declare that you're a mighty God, that you're good, that your miracles still happen, oh God, that you're a God that, amen, is not only, amen, the beginning of a thing, but also the ending of a thing. And Father, oh God, as we minister your word, hide me behind the veil. Father, I decrease, take the glory, it belongs to you. Lord, this is our prayer. Touch the families, oh God, on this week, all of our families' lives that have been going through. I saw a pastor that, amen, they laid to rest on yesterday. And Father, the little babies and the officers of oh God. So many people and, and Ian took out 125 people that they found. Lord, we pray now for not only our country, but our community. We pray for our churches, oh God. We pray for God just for your spirit that still remains. 
Father, keep us, O oh God, motivated by, amen, your soon return. And for that, we'll give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Amen, we believe we have a good word today. Thank you, Brother Mike, for the prayer. Amen, and that nice song by First Lady. Thank our viewers that may be watching today. Amen. Um, we thank you, Sister Carmen, God bless you. Sister Minerva, God bless you for joining, Sister Peggy. Um, how many know God is good? All the time. And all the time, God is good. Even in the midst of challenges, God is still good. Amen. In the midst of relationships and lack and plenty, amen, and hurt and in pain and grieving, God is still awesome. Amen. I want to call your attention to the book of Matthew, the eighth chapter. And I pray that this word blesses you, amen, today and gives you, amen, hope and confidence in the word of God. Now, as I give you this word, amen, somebody say, Pastor, give us the word. As I give or deliver or remind you of the word today, it is of none effect if you don't use this word that I'm reminding you of. Amen? Amen. Because we could preach the word. The Bible says that the word is going to go out and Isaiah said it's going to accomplish that which it pleased. That is what the Bible says. But in order for it to, amen, accomplish anything, you have to receive or catch the very word. What good is it? Amen. What did Jesus say? Thank you, Lord. Y'all been out here all day. <laughs> what? And y'all ain't caught nothing. How many know fellowship at the, the, the swimming pound is good? But we go out there to what? Catch some fish. Isn't that what fishermen do? Because fishermen, have, a lot 